skydiving. This is amazing. Yeah, but you know what else is amazing? An iPhone 6S for just 49 bucks at Metro. Really? Imagine streaming all the way down with that amazing camera. I'm switching. That's smart. You know what else is smart? Parachutes. Woo! Switch to Metro and get an amazing iPhone 6S for only 49 bucks. Metro by T-Mobile. Phone offer requires port in of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network or active on Metro in past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions. Welcome to Life Transformation Radio. This show is all about life transformations and our journey from where we were to why we are doing what we are doing today. We will discuss the hiccups, the roller coasters, and the blood, sweat, and tears that has been poured out while discovering our purpose. It is all about our transformation. Here is your host, Sean Douglas. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Life Transformation Radio. I am your host, Master Resilience Implementer, TEDx Speaker, Performance Enhancement Expert, and Author, Sean Douglas. This show is currently heard in over 46 countries, such as the U.S., India, Canada, France, Australia, Belgium, Panama. So I want to thank you to those who are listening from around the world. Life Transformation Radio is all about our transformations. Here is where we tell the stories of why we're doing what we're doing, highlighting the transformational moments that change our lives and how we use these to help transform others that elevate their lives as well. Now, you can listen to us every Wednesday and on the first and third Fridays at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. However, on certain Fridays and Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do special pop-up episodes. So my guest today is going to be our featured guest on our special pop-up episode. I'm super pumped to have this guy here. So on the show are impactful and amazing guests that are impacting everyone around them. And you can join in the conversation by joining our Facebook group, Life Transformation Radio Community. You can subscribe to wherever you're listening right now. Click the subscribe button. If you're listening on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, TuneIn, Player FM, Google Play Music app, wherever you're comfortable listening, go ahead and click the subscribe button. You can subscribe right on Blog Talk Radio's program. And... This is a live show, so you can call in 657-383-1109. Again, the number is 657-383-1109. You can chat with me, the guest, and uh, kind of join in the fun. So please help me welcome to the show, Dave Ken- I- I'm going to mess up your name. Ken- Kenneth. Keenest. Keen, keen Keener Keenest. Keenest. Keen- like I'm the keenest guest you've had. Keenest. Keen- okay, got it. Keenest. What's up, dude? Not much, man. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Oh, man, I'm super pumped to have you, man. So, yeah, so we met at uh, Steve Olsher's event, New Media Summit, yep. and uh, and we just kind of connected, man, and we kind of yep. share some similar paths, some similar things that have happened to us. So, man, I'm super pumped to dive right in and yep. just know more and, and really give value to the audience, who I know in this episode is going to get a ton. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm really excited to be here, man. Yeah, so the episode is titled Addiction and Redemption with Dave Keenest. Dave has been coaching the lives of individuals and business owners since 2011 when he enrolled in the Accomplishment Coaching Coach Training Program, an International Coach Federation accredited program where he spent an additional three years on the leadership development track, gaining graduate level training under the direction of multiple master certified coaches. Dave has currently accumulated over 2,000 paid client hours in his coaching practice and is committed to the transformation of human beings through the ontological coaching methodology, which is the study of being, which he often combines with practical plant-earth-based spiritual awareness. Love it. Dave currently hosts two podcasts, one, Fascinating Talks. Another is entitled Addiction and Redemption, Awakening to Your Hero's Journey, which is currently celebrating over 12,000 downloads. In the former, he interviews fascinating people from all walks of life, while the latter is his harrowing tale of all that he's been through. Dave is living proof that anything is possible for anyone, no matter what goals they set for themselves, and stands for those he works with to be all they can be. He lives in Encinitas, California, where he has created his life around his love for surfing and the ocean. You can go to the links that are in the show notes right there, accomplishmentcoaching.com, davekenis.com. He's on LinkedIn, Facebook. Check this dude out. The guy is amazing. So, dude, 
two shows, man. I'm kind of kind of jealous, man. I kind of want two <laughs> shows. <laughs> so why two shows? What, what was uh, what was the deal with with starting two of them? Well, man, it's just uh, when we went to the event, Steve Olsher's event, the New Media Summit. I just got present to, uh, you know, first of all, how simple and easy it is to podcast. You know, to just kind of yeah. there's just three or four or five weird little roadblocks that show up that you just need to sort of navigate yourself sure. around to actually create one. And I think a lot of people just get stopped in those different places. But um, yep. the thing that I got present to at the summit was like, there were all these people at the summit, you included, who were just like owning their stuff and owning their lives and owning what they had been through. And then seeing how their, their, you know, the, the, their struggles you know, not everyone struggles, but how a lot of people right. who had struggles in life could really benefit others. And I just, dude, I had this, I got this wild story, you know what I mean? And it was just a matter yeah. of like picking up a microphone. I, I just, I just went and got the cheapest microphone I could off Amazon that was recommended to yeah. me and um, just started, just started talking into it. And then, you know, I got inspired to, you know, if I'm going to start interviewing people, like why not just start with the interesting and fascinating people I know in my immediate, um, in my right. immediate circle, because I know so many cool people, you know, and just start having them express themselves and, and tell their stories and kind of work my way up from there, you know. Awesome, so man. The, yeah, the why of it is just sort of like, this is my story. This is why it, anything is possible. Just listen to what I've been through, right? And right. then the other one is anything is possible. Listen, listen to what these people have been through or listen to the, the experiences these people are having. You know what I like is that, you know, there's these, these shows – uh, like Lewis Howes at the School of Greatness, and it sounds it sounds amazing. The School of Greatness, right. like yeah, right. I want I want to listen to that podcast, right? And he got, you know, the like one of the guys uh, at the show at the uh, summit had the solo producer hour. It's like all right, right. you know, I mean, marketing's deep dark secrets, you know, like all this cool right. stuff. And then you have a show like Fascinating Talks, so simple yet powerful. Yeah. You don't need to have some some off the wall like amazing, you know, like everybody's like life transformation. I love that. I'm like, yeah, it's purely simple, and you know, right. but like I love the fact fascinating talks. Like, who doesn't want to listen to that show? Just the name itself, fascinating talks. You're like, that's I'm I'm already hooked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you just it's it's just so interesting. And you know, I don't do I don't think you you know neither one of us. I don't really do any prep for them. It's just sort of like let's connect with this yeah. person and see what happens yeah. and then throw it out there. You know, you and um, it, it's it's just been a seriously amazing journey, you know, and then to watch people, you yeah. know, I'm a coach. Right. So it's my job to to become a bigger me all the time. You know what I mean? That's right. what a coach's job essentially is their, their own personal job. And so it was just sort of like the next thing that was laid out for me by the universe to step into. So it's really it's been really fun. Boom. I love it. So so I want to ask you what your overall why is that big deep why that you have at the forefront of your of, of life's windshield right what are you chasing what is your why for everything that you do well dude any like dude i am living proof that any huh? like that anything is possible like you can I, I am living proof that you can you can claw your way back from the most God awful circumstances that life can ever throw at you. You know, it's like Rocky says in, in the, in the final Rocky Balboa movie, you know, he's like, it's life's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit. It's this pivotal scene. And it's one of the best Rocky scenes ever. Life's about how hard you can get hit and, and keep coming back. And, you know, that's how winning is done. And, right. you know, I, I, I went through some stuff, man, you know, and, um, I, I, I not only like I not only learned to survive in the face of moving through what I did, but I learned it's not that I learned, but I really just chose to thrive to like to take wow. this gift that essentially God gave me. Right. This gift of redemption, this gift of salvation, this gift of awakening, whatever it is you would like to call it, you know, and and not just like, you know, uh put myself into the box of like another survivor of addiction or another guy in recovery. You know what I mean? Like that, that was like the, oh, yeah. that was like the baseline that was like survival. And then, and then from there to create what I have, um, where I just, I've just created this amazing life for myself, you know, and it took a lot of work, but I see that my point is that I see that possibility in, in like every single human being, man. You know, and so my oh. why is like anybody can do anything, you know, and I got all the evidence in the world as to why it could have gone one way, why I could have quote unquote failed and 
and what it took to survive and then to thrive, if that makes sense. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. So I always ask that transformational moment. You had to make a decision to go to New Media Summit. You had to make a decision to be a coach, to be a podcaster. So go back 5, 10, even 15 years. Like, who was Dave back then? (laughs) Well, yeah, man. Um, You know, 15 years ago, I was just a party guy. I was just this... uh, I was just this party animal on a mission to have as much debaucherous fun as I could. And, and that was a lot of fun. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny that, but, um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, about, I don't know, about 12 years ago, that partying became not so fun and much more necessary. And then about 12 or 13 years ago, I had a real, uh, a very, very, very serious problem on my hands. And, um, Uh And, uh, the, you know, the, the pivotal moment, man, it was, um, it, June 6, 2007, you know, here I am strung out on, you name it, you know, yeah. um, yep. and, uh, drinking myself, I mean, literally drinking myself to death. And, um, you know, my mother called into the family room and said, uh, why don't you call that treatment center? I managed to get myself onto a waiting list for this government funded treatment center, which is just never fun to have to go visit these institutions of lower learning. You know, and for whatever reason, I weighed my options. I weighed my options for where life was going in that moment. And I said, okay, you know, and, and, you know, surrender people. And I, I surrendered and and people often equate surrender with giving up or surrender with passivity. And it's actually quite the opposite because man, when you surrender, you very often just begun to fight. And so, um, you know, fast forward, I don't know, three and a half, four weeks, I'm 28 days clean and sober. I'm, I ended up spending 124 days in that detox center, um, in that rehab wow. center. But, uh, but say about five weeks in, uh, three, somewhere between three and five weeks in, I, I, uh, I picked up this book and it was nap time during rehab. I didn't want to have to take a nap. I was 32 years old, but I'm, I'm reading a book during nap time. And, um, the word God, uh, jumped off the page at me and I got surrounded in this, uh, white light, this burning bush, this, in, this, this experience happened to me in which I was completely reborn in an instant. And, and that was almost 11 years ago. So that was, that was the, that was the defining moment upon which every other defining moment has been built on. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. So with that said, what was that, what was that moment of, uh, was it a moment of clarity? Was, I mean, did you just throw the bottle down and go, well, I'm done. You know, like, like, do you know that moment? Was it a mindset shift? Or how do you describe that transformational well, moment? Well, dude, it's kind of like, I mean, you know, I, I, I know you're, I know you're a God guy and, and, uh, it was, and, and I don't really speak in religious language. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. But, um, essentially what happened, man, is in that very moment, I went from being this sort of atheistic kind of as agnostic ego driven kind of self-destructive person to, to a person uh, like all of a sudden God went from being nothing to God being everything in just that oh, wow. second. Okay. So, yeah. And, and, and it was just, it was just your typical, you know, it's your burning bush. It was just your typical, what people often call re- religious conversion or religious experience or whatever, but it didn't involve any of, it didn't involve any sort of substance. It didn't involve anything except just this sort of radical willingness you know, and so that was really, um, I mean, what happened mindset, it's, it's more like my spirit shifted, you know? Yeah. My mindset shift, sh- my, my mind, uh, <laughs> my, my, my <laughs> tells where my mind still is at sometimes, <laughs> but yeah, my, uh, my, I can't mind state. What was the word you used? Mind, my mind shift, my mindset, duh. My mindset yeah. just shifted from like, from one way of, I looked at, I just viewed reality in a completely different way than I had previously you know leading up to that moment it's just a gift i mean i can't explain it you know what i mean i wish i could yeah, no definitely yeah no man it's super cool so so what is it that you do now like you talked about your coaching and and having love on the beach like what is it that you do now that just inspires and elevates and and is in like your zone of genius yeah my well my zone is uh I'm stepping into Kundalini yoga teacher training here soon. So that's going to be kind of the next thing. Cause 
Yeah, because I get to be like just a complete weirdo. You know what I mean? And right? I still get to cuss and swear and also talk about God and spiritual advancement and all this other, awesome. you know, dancing and whatnot. So that's kind of like my next ende- endeavor leadership wise. But, you know, for me, like, um, it, it, I mean, I'm in a state of flow. I mean, I go out into the ocean, I mean, at least five days a week and I, I surf, you know, and I'm, I'm, it's what I've created my whole life around and that sense of flow. Um, my, my zone of genius exists when I'm in the ocean. I mean, very often it's just this conversation that surfers are having with the ocean. You know, I think the best surfers are the ones that are just in a, a very deep, deep conversation with the, with the entire universe, essentially, you know, but, um, you know, as far as like professionally, like my zone of genius exists in my coaching. I mean, it takes a lot, you, you have to practice a lot and then you get to a point where, um, things just become effortless. You know, and then it's almost as if you're directed by something else. I mean, I, re- I really think that genius often comes down to uh, a person putting enough work into something, into an endeavor that they have a natural propensity to to take on, um, till they get to till, till they get to a point where that pursuit becomes effortless. Um, dude, that's huge, man. And I yeah. think that's what the what the what the end result, right? I mean, that's, yeah. we want to master it effortless, right? I mean, it just becomes right. a part of us. So. Right. Super awesome. Uh, so going back to your transformational moment, like, yeah. what do you think was the hardest part about it? Was it leaving the, the life behind, the emotional connectivity? Like, what do you think was the hardest part? Dude, honestly, it was kind of like this profound admission as to what a complete jackass I had been being for my, like, uh, uh, essentially yeah. what amounted to my entire life, at least my 20s, at least my late teens to early 20s. It was like this gut punch of humility. You know, it was just like, oh, wow. oh my God, like, cause the, the way I had been behaving, it just, all of a sudden it made so much sense. And, and, you know, we have people tell us and point their fingers at us. And, you know, in my case, the criminal justice system pointing its finger at me, you know what I mean? And, and then just realizing in that moment that like all these people are right, you know what I mean? Everybody's right. And just having to really admit that. And, you know, there's such a, there's, there's such a powerful relationship between humility and transformation. You know, you oh, just, huge. You, you got to admit, man, I was licked. I was done. Yep. Like what I, I was just losing and I was going to lose. I was going to continue to lose. And so there's that, there was that radical humility that led, led to the radical transformation, you know? Yeah, man. I, oh, dude, you, you nailed it, dude. Like humility is, is part of not only the forgiveness process, but the acceptance process. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's like admitting because it's like, you know, I mean, you know, you all go to meetings, we all see it on TV. Even if you've never been to an AA or any rehab or, or anything like that, you know, it's, it's always the same thing, you know, like, Hey, I'm right. this, like, like you're acknowledging, you're accepting. And, yeah. and sometimes people think that, well, acceptance is like, you know, you're just, you're admitting fault and you're admitting, no, no, no. Acceptance is huge because it's not only acknowledging what happened, but it's accepting and, t- and saying, you know what, accountability and responsibility, I did this, got it, own it, got it, time to move on, right? Like you're leaving that behind and saying, I did this, my bad, now you got to move on, right? Pretty much so it's it comes gotta be down a- to, to my bad, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right? But yeah, like in this like- really serious, radical sense of what, you know, what those two words mean, you know? Exactly. Yeah, no, absolutely. So – I don't believe that everything is all bad. I don't believe everything is all good, but right. tell us some of the good, good parts about, about that transformation. What are some things that stick out in your mind? Well, I mean, first of all, it, it just, I mean, the, you know, I don't like to brand, like it's, I know I have a podcast called the addiction and redemption awakening to your hero's right. journey. Um, I don't, you know, I don't brand myself as an, I'm not an addiction coach and none of the coaching I do has anything to do with addiction. Um, okay. But, but, um, but the, that's a side note, but the, just the freedom, just the freedom from the thing that had been running my entire life, you know, was the, was the, the most amazing aspect of it, you know, like the, like, an, and everybody's got, you know, everybody's got something in their life that's running them, you know, most people. Huh. And, and it's all about when you get the freedom from that thing that is in charge of you, just ask yourself, what's in charge of you? And what would be possible if that thing that's in charge of me wasn't in charge of me anymore, you know, and then you've got a different future that you can start living into. And that's going to require like really awkward, uncomfortable transformational action. 
but it's just going to lay out a, a different, a different course for you, you know? And so that's why I say like the name of my podcast is awakening to your hero's journey because not right. everybody's willing to take the journey. Like Luke Skywalker, he didn't have to go up, blow up the Death Star. He chose to accept that mission, <laughs> you know? And, right. and, and as a result, he became a Jedi. And I think we're all sort of Jedis. We, we're, we're born to be Jedis, you know? But in order to become Jedis, we've got to walk the path. I don't know if that answers your question. I might have strayed off a little Just bit. Just the fact that you referenced and compared, right? Like cross-comparison, like the Star Wars storyline to life is just Jedi in <laughs> itself. <laughs> nice. Like, Thanks, you know, it, funny side note, uh, in the military, I don't think they do this anymore, but, you know, in the military for a long time, you know, in basic training, they ask you for your dog tags. They ask you, you know, the names and, and, and everything you need to put on there, name, birthday, you know, all that stuff. And they say religion and people would have Jedi. Nice. And now they don't, they don't allow you to do that. <laughs> that was an act. You could actually one. put that on your dog tag? Actually put that on your dog tag. Yeah, Jedi. Cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was a drill instructor, um, I had a couple people, like I was looking at the dog tags. I'm like, all right, all right. I'm like, Je- Jedi, really? Yeah. Jedi. And they're like, they said we could do it. And then by the time <laughs> a couple of years roll around, they're like, yeah, we're not doing that no more. That's stupid. Yeah. So, but yeah, I thought it was funny. Um, so tell us, and I love, I love the answers that I, that I get to this question. Uh, tell us like who has been some of your biggest influencers? You know, there's always the Gary V's and the Tony Robbins and like, like who do you follow? Who's your influencers? My, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, honestly, like big, like big picture, like celebrity influencers. Um, you know, I'm a surfer and a skater. Um, you know, I grew up skateboarding. Like Tony Hawk is one of the most amazing freaking oh, cool. people ever. Like, like yeah. just like understanding, like the, the fact that he's able to do what he does just with his body is just like, I mean, it's mind blowing. Right. Um, right. But then also to, you know, for lack of a better word, capitalize that and then essentially take his gift and use it to give back and to build skate parks all over the world with all that money. I mean, that's just a, that's a, that's an incredibly inspirational, you know, he's got his, his, his Jedi story, you know? And then, um, you know, like, of course, like on the, on the, on the coaching front, like dude, Tony Robbins, I'm sorry. Like you could say what you want about him. Like right. the dude is, the dude is amazing. He's just straight up amazing. Like he, he yep. really has the ability to walk in uh, to, to, to create events that, that provide transformational, you know, experiences in the lives of human beings. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's just as a coach. No, Not just man. But 11,000 no. people. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, and everybody gets touched, you know, everybody walks away right. with something from those things. And, uh, you know, like that's on the, you know, on the coaching front. And then I, I mean, honestly, man, I have, um, I have a lot of musicians I look up to who so, it's, it's really like anyone who is a, a testament to the power of intention and nonstop action in service of something bigger than themselves. You know, that's, those are like really people who inspire me. You know, I got a friend who plays in a punk rock band. They've been playing for 40 years. You know what I mean? And it's like, they've been in a van for 40 years playing punk rock mm-hmm. shows all over the world. Like I have enormous, and they're brilliant musicians, you know, and I, I have so much respect for anyone that just um, lives in service of something greater. You know, even like soldiers, man, you know, like I it just like yeah. I'm I'm baffled by military people. You know what I mean? I was in uh, I'm, I'm baffled at, at anyone that that has something inside of them that, that, that they, they feel that they, they would they're they're fundamentally willing to give their life for something greater than themselves. You know, and, oh, yeah. and in that, like whether war is good or bad is irrelevant because <laughs> I'm not willing to do that, dude. You don't know if that makes right. sense. And I revere that. You know, and then I have so many just personal mentors who I know who are brilliant coaches, you know, who aren't of celebrity status and um, but are still every bit as brilliant, you know, as as Tony or anybody else in their own right. And so, you know, just surrounded by by all kinds of different people, you know. Definitely. You know, I I think that you you nailed it on something that that a lot of people miss is that you talked about the influencers and ones you follow and the ones you like. And then you have the mentors, yeah, and it's like right. some some people just like they don't they don't they don't get that part. It's like you have right. to have somebody there. I call it the board of directors. You have to have a board of directors right. for your life, and you're always being influenced, and you're always be like you never want to go it alone. So if, right. you know if you want to if you want to change your mindset, if you want to change your direction, if you want to change anything in your life, you have to find the people that are doing the things at the level that you want to do them at, and and 
follow them people. You know, uh, one thing that I always say about college, I think I personally, my opinion is I think college is a sham. And yep. so <laughs> I, I think that I think that people when they tell me like, well, you got to get a job, you get, like right. So I always tell them that this professor, this business professor, or the psychology mate, whoever this guy is, is getting paid a hundred thousand dollars to teach me. And then I'm going to go get a job that's probably never going to make over a hundred grand, right. or I could go pay ten thousand dollars, go coach with Tony Robbins, or pay twenty five k or whatever. I could pay. I could basically take my college tuition for four years, go pay somebody, and I'll be a millionaire. Like why? Yep. I mean, I just I don't I don't I never understood that part. Like I need this to go work for somebody. I don't want to work for somebody. Right. somebody. <laughs> I just want the information. Right. No, you're right, man. I think if you want to be a doctor or an engineer or something, totally. like you need to go to college. Totally. But that's really about totally. it. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Like if you're to do something that important, right. huge, man. So I, I really th- – and I told him, I said, you know, the, the student debt is almost like a trillion dollars. It's almost like it's right. as much as national debt. I mean it's billions and billions and billions of dollars. But then you have people that aren't using their degrees or anything like that. So my influencers are people who are mostly college dropouts. And some right, of them are even right. high school dropouts, but they're right. they're military dudes. They're you know veteran owned businesses. They're people like you know like Greg Reed. Um, you know I watch Gary Vee and and Grant Cardone and all those guys. You know and almost every single one of them is like yeah go to college waste your life away go learn hmm. go pay five or ten k go get yourself a coach go get yourself a mentor and then operate at the level that they're operating at and see if right. that doesn't change your life like it, like well, not immediately but immediately you see what i'm saying not in no i know exactly years. what you mean yeah man and i know um i, I think uh, people i don't i think a, a coaching is still it's becoming more understood um but i think it's still a, a relatively misunderstood just sort of phenomenon um like it, it, coaching you know when it's done effectively by a coach who knows what he's doing um or she knows what she's doing uh with a co- right. with a person who is coachable um very 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 often leads to life just fundamentally transformed experiences, what it means to be alive in, in every area, be it romantically, financially, spiritually, you know, and everything else in between. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think I, I'm just, a, I'm such a proponent for coaching for, for, for opening yourself up to the guidance and direction, you know, of, of another person at some yep. point or a team of people, you know, definitely. No, man, absolutely. So let's talk about some of the resources that you use during your journey. Like, I mean, you, you're doing a podcast, right? I mean, you're doing the coaching and you talked about, you know, how you did that uh, with accomplishment coaching and, and everything. But what are some of the resources that you've used to get you to that next level? Well, I mean, it's all, it always comes down to, um, you know, we say that one of the most powerful tools in manifestation or hitting goals is, um, is feedback. And so that's, that's just my, it's always coaching. It's always having um, a brilliant professional um, who can show me what I'm not seeing and reflect to me my blind spots and call me out on my crud as it shows up. Um, so that's, that's one of the most fundamental, but then, I mean, it's also like, uh, yeah, I don't I don't want to give like a, this, this to sound generic, but like God, man, like <laughs> yeah. this, this yeah. thing that is greater than me is, you know, an inspiration, when you break the word inspiration down, it's just in spirit from God. And so we get these little messages from God um, and, and we get to honor them or not, you know, but I, it's sort of like when I, um, I don't know, it's, it's really like I, I, I work for God. I'm like a servant of the universe on this little mission, you know, and I, I get to, I honor those inspirations or I don't, but um, that's kind of, I mean, yeah, that's kind of how I see it. I love it. Dude, and then I you got that, other man. people that are playing big games, you know, and they're working, you know, like I was so inspired by, by, by what Steve Ulsher put, you know, Steve Ulsher put together for the new media summit and just all these, all these really oh, yeah. amazing, cool, dynamic, down to earth people who are just up to super cool things. I take so much inspiration from that as well. You know, you know, I like that. Uh, Cause we have, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's the way that society is. I don't know if it's just the way that we were, were raised or brought up or the mentality, but it's like, you see guys like I like on this show, for example, on this show, um, I've had Frank Shankowitz, who is the founder of the Make Wish Foundation, mm-hmm. and I look at that, I'm like, no way am I going to get this guy on my show, and he's like the coolest dude ever, and he's right. a, and he's an Air Force veteran, 
You know, right. guys like Greg Reed, the author of Three Feet from Gold, uh, Sharon Lecter and him wrote a book together. The guy is as real as it gets, you know. I mean, the guy yeah. is super down to earth, you know. And, and we have these weird – like I had Bruce Buffer on the show. How the heck did that happen? Right. You know, but Bruce Buffer from the UFC was on the show. And it's hmm. almost like podcasting is a way that you break down the barriers that in our mind that say, well, he's a millionaire. He's the one to talk to me. I'm not good right. enough to be in Bruce Buffer's presence. I'm not good enough to be in the founder of Make a Wish. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not good enough to have Dave on. You know, on my show. Like, right. you know, the guy's crushing it. Like, but, but Steve did that. Steve had right. guys like JV Crum there, who, yep. if you're on his email list, that the guy's absolutely crushing it. And you talk to the guy, he's a real dude. You know, Mike right. O'Neill and yep. Dennis and Dave and like all these other guys that yep. are there. Like, you 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 see them like on iTunes. Yep. You see them on Facebook. Like, Oh my God, these guys are so influential. But then you get to yeah. sit there and have dinner with them, and they're yep. just a normal dude. Yeah. Yeah, that was one sure of the that things that from. really impressed me about that. Is, yeah, that, I, I, well, I just think again, I think there's something like podcasting and humility are kind of a little synonymous with each other. Like there's like this, <laughs> there's like this sort of low level sort of degree of celebrity, but not like in the not in the I'm better than you sort of sense of it. Like every, right. everybody, everybody that I bumped into at that event was just completely approachable and totally real and down to earth and, you know, nice basically, you know, when it really came down yeah. to it. Yep. Oh dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. So life transformation radio listeners, if you're listening, the phone lines are open. Call in at 657-383-1109. You can ask myself or Dave a question. My team is standing by to weed out the trolls. Uh, I had to put that in place. So nice. we're making sure that only the, only the good content comes through. So uh, 657-383-1109. If you're listening to us live, uh, you have a question, you can go ahead and call in. So uh, Dave, for your shows, uh, where can people find your shows? Are they on Libsyn? Is that what you use for, for podcasting? Um, you know, the podcasters like iTunes and everything kind of, kind of walk us through that process. How do you, how do you do that? Yeah. You could just, if you just Google, um, first of all, my name is so unique. If you just Google my name, like everything associated with me ever pops up, um, with no confusion, <laughs> but, uh, the, uh, yeah, the podcast, you can find it on Stitcher and on, uh, on iTunes, uh, addiction and redemption. That's the one that's really kind of taken off. I didn't, I, I had never I had absolutely no idea that I would be getting emails from people all over the world, essentially, who had been listening that I've never met. I I had no idea that that would happen. Um, wow. so I have a lot of that one's got a lot of binge listeners just because of how essentially how how gory it is. I got like 40, 48 episodes released, and I just got to the redemption part. So there's like forty six episodes of. If you're if you're curious at all about what it's like to be just the gnarliest drug addict ever, there's 47 episodes of what it's like. Um, so that's really cool. Wow. You can just find that on iTunes. And then um, yeah, same with um, same with uh, fascinating talks. Um, yeah, that's on iTunes as well and Stitcher. So perfect, man. Yeah, awesome. So as we as we move forward right i mean we're always transforming we're always i mean we're never staying in the same place at least i hope we're not because like if you're not growing you're dying and so we're always evolving always transforming so where are you headed now what kind of new adventures businesses family like what does the rest of your 2018 look like and then into the next few years well man really it's um you know i'm just i i just really like my my life the way it is currently you know i got to i'm in this new relationship that's going well and that's kind of fun and new and refreshing and um i i mean i'm always committed to i mean honestly i'm always committed to evolving as a surfer i mean i i just i really i take that as one of the most sacred activities that's ever been created you know um and then so you know surfing and you know wherever i can but honestly mostly here around san diego because it's pretty darn good and then uh you know, I'm, I'm always, um, you know, I've, I've gotten into a graduate level, um, coach training, sort of a spiritual coach training program that I've been in, uh, called Whetstone. So W H E T S T O N E. And, um, so what we're doing, it's, uh, there's three, you know, master level coaches who are in it, actually four master level coaches who are in it together. And we're really fine tuning our coaching skills so that they align with spirituality. Um, and it's this new type of coaching called phenomenal logical coaching, which has people uh, relating to themselves as a phenomenon on the planet, you know, and, and from evolving from one phenomenon to another phenomenon. So really um, I'm, I'm, I, I strive to become 
a masterful coach. I want to be masterful, you know? So that's yeah. kind of what's next there. And then, um, yeah, just, you know, I, 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 it's weird because seven years ago when I went into coach training, um, they ask you big questions like, what would you like, you know, like your life to look like in, in <laughs> five or seven years. And I remember thinking this is in Chicago. I lived in Chicago and I was a great lake surfer. I learned how to surf on Lake Michigan in the oh, winter wow. time. Yeah. I surfed nine years on Lake Michigan in the winter. And, um, and I remember just saying to them like, well, I'd like to live in Southern California. I'd like to travel back and forth between Chicago and California uh, as much as I would like, I'd like to make a mo- enough money to support that. I'd like to have a flexible work schedule. I'd like to have a person in my life that means something. I'd like to, you know what I mean? And, and here it is seven years later and all that's manifested. And I'm just like, wow. I can't believe it. Like, I mean, it's just, a, it's just visualization does so much. And so now I'm there and it's like, okay, chill, dude, just chill. You know what I mean? <laughs> like coast for a while. Yep. And, and the, uh, the next thing will present itself. And I'm about, I don't know, I want to say I'm halfway through with a memoir, a book, um, that I'm working on. It's a, it's, it started out as an addiction memoir, but it's really turned into just a, a picture of what can happen to a normal quote unquote, normal kid. You know what I mean? Um, so that's really like my next major project is getting the book finished. So rough, rough Um, draft has been declared finished by September 30th. So then we'll go for awesome, man. Yeah. Good job, man. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah, it's good so, stuff. So, uh, so what's the so so what's the book going to be called? The, the the memoirs or whatever? What's it going to be called? Well, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not. I've been playing around with the titles. I was thinking Undercover Angel, <laughs> uh, Awakening to Your Hero's <laughs> Journey. Um, awesome. I think we're all kind of undercover angels. We're just like waiting to be discovered, you know, by the universe or something, and we're put yeah. through these trials. But um. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a graphic rendition of uh, a graphic graphic account rather of uh, you know <laughs> some of the stuff I some of the stuff I've been through. Well, you know, we've, yeah. there's no questions unanswered as to what that type of life can be like. Um, right. So yeah, and then I really um, you know I got a real commitment. I, I'm I'm just plugging my way through the interviewing. It's just like you said, man. I um, I, you know, I bumped. I was in a coffee shop here in California the other day, and I turned my head and I was standing next to one of the most famous big wave surfers in the history of the sport. And I said, you want to be on my podcast? And he said, yeah, three email me in three months. I got a bunch of stuff going on, you know? So it's like, sweet. So it's just <laughs> kind of like, and it was just, just like you said, how did this happen? I'm like, I don't know, but <laughs> there he is. And I can either ask him or I, I cannot ask him, you know, and if I ask him, it's right. going to lead somewhere, you know, what's the worst thing yep. he's going to do say no. And that's that. It's like asking a girl on a date. You know what I mean? <laughs> what's the worst that's thing? That huge, can happen? man. Like, you know, the fear of rejection and all that, like, man, like I got eight no's right. in 2017 to my TEDx talk. Like I wanted right. to deliver to right. I got eight no's. And then the ninth yeah. one was the winner, you know, like if I'd have just given up after the second or third one, then, you know, I just, I wouldn't, I would have had that experience. So I, was, I, I mean, Greg Reed was on the show and he was talking about, he's like, I got denied from like over a hundred publishers for three feet from gold, like a right. hundred or uh, what was the other one? Um, stickability thoughts are things and stickability is the other two books that he has. And he's like, dude, over a hundred times I got denied. And then one guy took yeah. a chance and then look at the bestseller. Like it's a, it's a national bestseller. Yeah. Like, That's awesome. So you never know, man, you, you keep going and you never know what's going to happen. That's, that's the main message. No, it's true, man. I, um, like, uh, it's, if you read, have you read Think and Grow Rich, the book Think and Grow Rich? Oh yeah, man. Oh, it, dude, yeah. So, Rich. Great, great book, you know, and it's, it's more of a manual, you know what I mean? It's a manual for how to navigate the way to riches. And, you know, there's that chapter, one of the steps is persistence. And he talks about, he, he's like, there's almost an invisible man and the visi- the invisible man is guarding like the gates to where you want to be. And you got to prove to the invisible man that you mean business. And he's going to turn you away three or four or five or six or maybe seven or maybe 99 times. But it's like on that hundredth time, he's going to say, I see that you're serious. He's going to let you through, you know? So it's always like when I get caught up in just a wacky place in pursuit of a business goal, you know, I have a big business goal. I'm going uh, four in May, one I've never hit. And it's really uncomfortable. And it's like, I know that it's just like when I have my breakdown and three of my clients quit, clients quit, which happens in coaching. Um, and I had a declaration to get, you know, five new ones. That's just the invisible man saying, show me, prove it again, Dave. I'm just mad. And it's kind of like you bastard, but like, it's sort of like you start to almost anticipate the quote unquote failures or the setbacks. 
And each time you move beyond one, you discover something about the nature of yourself and essentially like all of it, the whole reality. You know what I mean? Right. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. So this is the moment of the show where we do a shameless plug. You plug a friend, quote, your websites, Facebook, products, like whatever you want to plug. This is your time to shine. Shameless plug moment. Go. Yeah, man. So please check out my, I mean, if, if, if you're, if you're into gnarly stories, check out my podcast, addiction and redemption, awakening to your hero's journey and just start listening. You know, you can start at the beginning and just go all the way through, um, you know, on the coaching front, you know, if you, if, if, if you're happy where you're at, but not quite happy where you're at, if you're looking to make some sort of change, be it shifting careers or creating a relationship or um, you know, making more money in your business or empowering your relationship to leadership, something like that, uh, just shoot me an email, uh, Dave at DaveKenis.com or go to my website, DaveKenis.com. I'll admit it's not the greatest website in the world. I haven't really been a, I'm not really a marketing based <laughs> guy. But, um, you know, I give you one to two hours of my time completely free without any attachment and absolutely zero obligation. Um, and we just connect with each other and we see if we're a fit. And then I put you at choice if you'd, li- if you'd like to move uh, forward with me. And then, you know, if you want to Facebook friend me, I, I, I can never get enough Facebook friends. I'm, I'm on there probably a little too much, I'll admit it. But just find me on Facebook <laughs> and let's be Facebook friends. And maybe we'll end up agreeing or disagreeing on some stuff. But at the end of the day, we'll still be Facebook friends. <laughs> it's kind of how I yeah, see right? it. Yeah, you know, right. You know what I mean? You know, um, if, if I need some, some room on my Facebook, because, I mean, you can only have 5,000, right? And I get up right. to... You know, I got up to like 2000 and I was like, Oh boy, uh, it's getting kind of fast. So, um, I put out a Facebook post. I was like, I love Trump. I hit Bitcoin and I'm a nice. follower. If you don't like it, Sweet. see you later. And literally like awesome. 40 people laughed. I was like, Oh my God, that was awesome. a joke. And people were like, dude, I'm going to steal that. And like literally 40 people laughed. I was like, Holy That's shit. Awesome. <laughs> like, yeah. What just happens? And Good so stuff, every, man. every once in a while, or you just, um, you know, you future endeavor them. You like the WWE, like on their birthday, like you get the birthday things and you're like, yeah. happy birthday to these nine people. And you're like, I don't even know this person. Like, who the heck is this person? You're like, happy birthday. And then uh, <laughs> like, nice. you know, sometimes you just got to make room, you know, for the people who sometimes are going to be it's true, you know, in your network. Yeah. And it's hard yeah, to definitely. do that sometimes. Now, Facebook's it up. I mean, if you're a, if you do anything related to what we do, I think fail, Facebook is the best marketing tool, you know, personally. So. Oh, def- oh, dude. I, so I'm mentoring a guy right now. Um, I met him the other day. We were talking on LinkedIn. I meet a lot of people on LinkedIn. Right. And uh, so we're talking, and he wants to become a speaker. And I was like, there you go, man. Let's, let, let, let's do this. You know what I mean? And uh, he wants to be a speaker, so we're mentoring each other. or I'm, I'm mentoring him, and we're talking with each other. And he said, so, yeah, man, let me know what your Facebook profile is and everything. He said, I don't have Facebook. Right. What? Like, what? How, how exactly. Do you, what? Yeah, I know. Man, I got, how are you going to build a I got LinkedIn career without Facebook? Right. Yeah. How can you do that? That's that's just crazy. Right. I, I don't exactly. understand how this is impossible. So yeah, it was just kind of weird. I was like, what in the world? But uh, but yeah, he literally didn't have one. So so I told him, I was like, you got to make one. Like you literally yeah. have to make one because that's where that's where everybody hangs out the most out of yep. out of everybody. And yep. uh, he's like, oh, I just don't want to deal with the crap. Oh, you gotta you gotta surround oh. yourself with amazing people. Well, dude, and you can what, Facebook. I'm sorry, go on. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's what I'm saying. That's all it is. Like you have to surround yourself right. with like the like-minded people. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, it's like uh, people. Facebook gets a bad name, but it's like you could build a, a house with a two by four, or you could smack somebody over the head with it. And I just look at it as the house. You know what I mean? And right. I don't know. Good. So I'm really grateful. Oh, grateful for it, actually. You know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, so as we wrap up the show. Can you deliver your best nugget of knowledge that will motivate, transcend, and inspire someone to take action? Hmm. Ask the question again. Can you deliver your best nugget of knowledge that will motivate, transcend, and inspire someone to take action? I mean, seriously, any, it's like anything, anything is possible. Anything. Like all that cheesy, like you know, all, all, like all. It's weird because all of the like the cheesy soundy, cheesy sounding personal development meme type of stuff that you see on Facebook and wherever else. It's basically all true. If right. if, if you're actually willing to live from a place of integrity, 
You know what I mean? And it's like, you just start doing oh, yeah. what you say you're going to do and freaking watch out universe. I mean, seriously, any, like anything is possible. I'm living proof. You're living proof. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're all living proof that we can take this life and create something magical out of it. Life is magic. It is a beautiful, beautiful, uh, magical gift that is, is meant to be honored. You know, Boom. and if you got, if you're blessed enough to be listening or lucky enough to be listening to this podcast now, like y- you, you have the power within you to go out and create something amazing. I mean, period. End of story. Yep. Yep. Well, I firmly believe that. Totally yeah. believe that. So dude, I want to thank you for being on the show. Amazing yeah, conversation, so much, man. man. It's, yeah. Dude. It's almost like yeah, you've done so much, this Sean. before. <laughs> yeah. Something, something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like you've done this before. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want the listeners to know that we didn't already cover? No, man. Just if you're inspired, look me up. And uh, yeah, I just, I just, I want to thank you again, and I really want to acknowledge you for the game that you're playing with life. It's, it's obvious that you're a go-getter, and you're a huge source of inspiration to me. So thank you very much, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for the conversation. You got it, brother. So Life Transformation Radio listeners, another episode. Another amazing guest who is impacting lives everywhere he goes. Connect with him on Facebook, LinkedIn. Go to DaveKeenist.com, K-E-H-N-A-S-T.com. Go look him up. He is incredible. So as I close the show, I always say live your brand. Find opportunities every day to live out the values that you hold deeper in your heart. And I call that living your brand. So until next episode, have a great night. Thanks, guys. Skydiving. This is amazing. Yeah, but you know what else is amazing? An iPhone 6S for just 49 bucks at Metro. Really? Imagine streaming all the way down with that amazing camera. I'm switching. That's smart. You know what else is smart? Parachutes. Woo! Switch to Metro and get an amazing iPhone 6S for only 49 bucks. Metro by T-Mobile. Phone offer requires port in of number not currently active on T-Mobile network or active on Metro in past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions. Skydiving. This is amazing. Yeah, but you know what else is amazing? An iPhone 6S for just 49 bucks at Metro. Really? Imagine streaming all the way down with that amazing camera. I'm switching. That's smart. You know what else is smart? Parachutes. Woo! Switch to Metro and get an amazing iPhone 6S for only 49 bucks. Metro by T-Mobile. Phone offer requires port in of number not currently active on T-Mobile network or active on Metro in past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions.